What's going on Colts Nation? I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law and here we're going to make a great film room. We're going to go over the youth movement of the Indianapolis Colts secondary. Yes, that is correct. At the beginning of the year, a lot of people was worried about how young this team was with all second year or rookie cornerbacks alongside Kenny Moore in the slot, thought that maybe that this team might be a terrible pass defense. We're going to get into the film room right now, take a look, see what these guys look like, what are some of the positives and negatives of each of these uh, guys, and, you know, figure out, hey, was it worth what they did? I mean, they dropped Darius Rush, right, uh, off the 53-man roster during final cuts. Let's get into this and see what we can come up with. Many Colts fans know Dallas Flowers is fast. But how good is he actually at covering, right? He's been a, a kick returner for the Indianapolis Colts at the end of last year. Looks like he started to take over at the begin at the end of the preseason as the fail attempt uh, for Josh Downs was used. We're going to Keep an eye on this play right here. Watch as Dallas Flowers is covering this wide receiver on this play. So good job. Kicks back. Stops. Now, how did he get separation, huh? Well, we're going to get a good look at that, right? I think Fly it looked like Flowers might have been baiting the quarterback here. What? All right, so the ball snapped initially. Flowers has the deep zone all the way to the back. Keep an eye. You know this is zone. All Everybody's eyes is back at the quarterback at all times. At this point, look, everybody's eyes. This is a definitely a zone defense. Everybody's eyes. Even Flowers, who's, who's running side by side with the wide receiver, has their eyes back at the quarterback. This is actually pretty good coverage. You got this guy's covered. There's nowhere really to throw here. You throw to him, and he's going to be tackled immediately if, he, if the ball's not knocked out by uh, that player. But look how close Flowers is. He's got man-to-man, -man, it seems like, right? Even though it's his zone, he is tight up on him. Now, right here, the receiver cuts inside, and Flowers sits. Why is that? You see how he... This looks, in all honesty, the way he cuts, it starts to slide inside, but he's... His feet slows down, right? His feet slow down, so Flowers slows down. Gives a little bit of room here. Gives a little bit of room. But Flowers knows, I can close this before the ball gets there. There is zero question about that. And as it happens, the quarterback sees this little open area right here. As this player is pulling the defender out of the room, he's going to throw this ball right in this vicinity. Bam. See, now the receiver takes off towards that empty spot. The quarterback's like, oh, yeah, I can make that throw. He throws this football. Flowers breaks immediately. Watch. He never even looks at the wide receiver. He's watching the ball the whole time. The whole time. Now, he breaks in front of the receiver, and this, without any question, should have been an interception. Should have been an interception. Flowers, I think the receiver, in all honesty, uh, overpowers with his hands to get the ball out of Flowers' hands, rips it out of Flowers' hands, and makes the completion. Had Flowers broke a little bit earlier, right? Not necessarily broke, but made a, 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 a an inside cut a little more, where it was, he could have broke in a little bit closer away from the receiver so that the receiver, as he broke in front of him, the receiver couldn't get close enough to get hands on the ball, this this would have been an interception without any question. This is a great job by Flowers overall. Great job. Should have been at least an incompletion. Had the shot for the interception. He just needs to break a little bit closer or get, you know, just better hand strength. This is a play all about timing on the offense. 
right? This is all about timing. The ball is supposed to be at a specific place at a specific time. He's not throwing to the receiver. He's throwing to a spot on the field at a specific time. And Flowers, right up here, due to his press and hand fighting early on, messes up that timing. And he has very, very good positioning defending this route. Let's take an eye. Look at this play here. All right. Now, you first look. Well, if he threw that out in front of him, maybe he catches it, right? I don't know about all that. This is a timing route. Now, we're going to back up a little bit. And keep an eye. If we watch this really close, the funny thing about this is, watch here, immediately, Flowers does not even move. He is blocking his way, the receiver's route, right? Gets up, slaps his hands. The ball's already coming out of the quarterback's hands, right? Right here. He's throwing the football. The receiver hasn't even turned to, turned to look. This is all timing. This is throw the ball. Now, had the receiver turned, and been where he was supposed to be, Flowers is all over it. Flowers is all over this ball, right? But he continues to run this way. So Flowers follows him. And he comes out just a little bit because of his angle, right? Just a little bit. The ball's thrown behind the receiver and low. Where only the receiver has a shot to catch this football. Had that ball been up just a little bit further out in front of him or a little bit higher, maybe he catches this ball. Had he led the receiver, I think Flowers breaks and gets a hand on the football. You cannot throw it out here because I think Flowers would have definitely been able to get out in front because of the way his angle, the angle he took to get there. He would have broke on the ball, got a hand on the ball, knocked it out. This is incredibly good coverage by Dallas Flowers right here. Incredibly good. I am incredibly surprised. Everything that Flowers does here makes this play not happen for the Philadelphia Eagles. Very good job. Sometimes you can do everything right. And the play still succeeds. You can do everything right on defense. And yet somehow the play still succeeds. Just because of a perfect throw. Or because of, you know, uh, the extended play. Things of that nature. But the most important thing that I want to talk about. Which is what happens here. Because the extended play it happens. What I want to talk about here. Is the most difficult thing for a young corner to do and learn in the NFL is when to hand off while playing zone coverage. Okay. When to hand off a guy who's leaving you, your zone and the other guy is entering your zone. You have to know when to hand off. Okay. And if you don't do it right, that creates open opportunities to throw the football for the offense. Let's watch Dallas Flowers here. Dallas Flowers up top. Watch what he does. That's great. That's just absolutely fantastic right there. Again, the, nothing you could do here. Uh, no matter what the Colts did, this was uh, a bad situation for him because of the scrambling of the quarterback, even though the defensive line did their job pretty well. So keep an eye right here, Dallas Flowers. He's got the deep zone, but he's got his receiver right in front of him, right? Let's watch as this play develops. You see him. His The guy that he's over is stopping. He looks down, sees, oh, yeah, okay. Linebacker, he's got him. But the guy that the linebacker's on is coming still deep. That's my zone. You watch his feet. You can see his feet. He takes a couple little small steps right there. You seen how his, his feet come together? As that receiver stops, you see his feet right here. 
See how he takes a little stutter step? Just to make sure, hey, he's still covered. All right. Now, this guy's continuing on. He takes that wide step to get his speed back up and then begins to turn and close on the receiver here on the outside. Now, at this point, normally the ball is thrown by now, but there's nowhere to throw. Can't throw it here. Can't throw it here. Can't throw it here. Can't throw it here. Great coverage all the way around. Great coverage. Plus, <laughs> I'm going to say that's pressure. That looks like a jailbreak to me. Great job by the quarterback actually to escape this pressure and roll out to his left. Right? Great job. But watch Flowers. Continues. Continues covering. Continues covering. Now, the linebacker. This isn't about the linebacker, but you see Flowers is still, I mean, he's in hip. In hip. In hip. There's nowhere to go with him being all the way over here. He can't even throw. He could throw this to the corner, right? The linebacker has to make a decision. There's nowhere. You know, right now he's pretty deep. The linebacker has to make a decision. It looks like the quarterback's going to take off. So he's got to close in. Problem is, there's room here. Receiver. He should have understood where the line of scrimmage was, the linebacker anyhow, and waited for the quarterback to get a little closer before closing in on the quarterback because now you gave up the opportunity for a first down, which they they did exactly right. But great job by Flowers on the handoff and the coverage. Great job. And by Daryl Baker Jr. Nothing in the NFL draws more PIs than the cornerback or, you know, defensive back not looking back for the football when they try to make a play, right? On When they're trying to make a play on the receiver and not on the ball. And that's something that cornerbacks just have to learn to do. And usually takes a couple years to do that. On this play, Dallas Flower shows, hey, he can do that. He will look when the receiver looks like he's looking back for the football and tracking the football. When you got your eyes on the receiver and the receiver is tracking, obvious. You see his eyes in his head tracking the football in the air. That's when you look back for the football yourself and make a play on the ball. You do that, contact doesn't really matter because you are trying to make and move on the ball. Now, obviously, you can't grab and push the receiver off or something like that, you know, but you have just as much right to the football as the wide receiver does. So as long as you're going after the ball, incidental contact means little at that point. Let's keep an eye right down here, Dallas Flowers and the receiver. Good job. A little tight. Looks back. Oh, oh my goodness. That's textbook. Oh, lordy, almighty, holy crap. That right there, that's teach tape right there. That is absolute teach tape by Dallas Flowers. Let's watch how close he is right here on the play. And immediately gets up, gets some hands on him, forces him outside, right? They're outside the numbers, so the job, make sure that you pin the receiver between the numbers and the outside, right? That's your job. Pin him. Use the sideline as an extra defender. Does a great job here. Forces him inside. Let's keep an eye. He continues. Look at that. Just staring at him one-on-one. -on -one, right? Stride for stride with him. The receiver looks back at the football. His head goes up. As soon as he notices his head go up, what's he do? Dallas looks back for the football, looks for the football himself. Once he gets the football, there's inc once he looks back for the football, there's incidental contact. But at this point, that's not pass interference because Flowers is looking for the ball as well. And at this point, he is going for the football, reaches up, smacks it down. Great job. No pass interference. That is textbook coverage in the NFL. Thank you, Dallas Flowers. 
that smells something good. You're not going to have that, you know, rock you thin learning time of, you know, two or three years of getting a bunch of pass interferences from, from plays like this because he's looking back for the football. But what about Daryl Baker Jr.? He's a second-year uh, cornerback in the NFL as well. What about his ability to look back for the football? What about his uh, coverage uh, skills? Let's, let's keep an eye right here as Daryl Baker Jr. Let's watch the play unfold. Ooh. Wow. Whoo. All right. He gets actually beat for a second on this play. Now, the wide receiver is going to make an in, up, and out cut. This is a very common, a very common route for an outside receiver in the NFL. All right. This is actually usually when they run this route, a perfect ball is. Very difficult, very difficult to cover, okay? Very difficult to cover. And yet, Baker Jr. does specifically that. As this play unfolds, you see the receiver cut inside, right? And he's going to run past, and he's at full speed. The problem here is, Baker does stop. That's his problem, right? This foot right here. He legitimately stops, and he has to change direction on a dime while the receiver is at full speed. Remember that, all right? The receiver, at this point, has got an eight-yard run start to get to full speed. And Baker Jr. had to stop and change directions, 180 degrees. I think that is the situation where Baker has to learn a little bit. But, I'll tell you what. Watch this ability of Baker Jr. Because the receiver, he separates. But, look how quickly Baker, he recovers very fast. All of a sudden, now they're hand-to-hand. -hand. Quarterback's getting ready to throw this football. He's going to throw it out here. The receiver's watching the ball. Keep an eye on Baker's helmet. He turns. Looks. Reaches out. He's step for step. Perfect. Step for step. Perfect. His hand is on his hand. They are touching each other. Right? That's fine. Because he was playing the football. He reaches out. Slaps that ball down with one hand. Beautifully done. Absolutely gorgeous. That is incredibly well done. And I think that our outside corners, that yes, I am going to state these were the second, this is second team for the Eagles. All right. Second team for the Eagles. But they still played incredibly well and they showed poise. Uh, they showed that their mechanics are good. They showed that they look back for the football. And they have all the right traits to be able to cover in the NFL. We'll find out week one against Jacksonville. Guys, thanks so much for watching this film room. Please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe to help with extra views. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This was Colts Law. Keep an eye out for more because these will be coming out as usual. Have a good one.